this video specifically you Back with another motherfucking Why video. Why does he not say nigga in his, in his <laughs> Oh, I didn't think he was gonna do it. No! I didn't think he was gonna do it. Ah! It's out of someone natural. Yo, oh, nigga, stop, bro. Oh, I didn't Why does he not say nigga in his... In his <laughs> oh, I didn't why does he not say nigga in his in his <laughs> nigga? Oh, I didn't think he was gonna do it. No, oh, I didn't think he was gonna do it. Ah! It's out of so unnatural. Yo, nigga, stop, bro. Get off the gas pump, bitch. People, <laughs> yeah. people want gas, man. Fuck is you hogging the spot for? I hate you. Was this video that pressing for you to just do it right in a fucking pump, nigga? You felt so passionate. You probably saw someone say the N word and you were like, huh? He's like, man, I'm getting tired of this fucking. Why can't I? Every time I'm listening to my M and M's, man, I get pissed when we get done with the whole album and they ain't say nigga. Man, you know how many fucking rhymes and and dope bars we probably miss out on Eminem because he didn't say nigga? Man, fuck that, man. Yeah, bro, you felt way too inclined to do this in the middle of the day, bro. You just turned your dash cam on. This nigga feel way too safe. This nigga's outside say, and everything. Why does he not say nigga in his, in his outcome? Um, cool. a lot of, like, if you listen to black rap music, every black rapper says it, right? So it's kind of a rap music thing. But then you get these white rappers that come in and they avoid saying it in their music. But here's the thing, there has been multiple videos of proof of these famous white rappers saying it in their personal lives. Eminem has said it, Post Malone has said it. You can go Google the video. There was a, uh, an old Snapchat video of Post Malone and he was watching This nigga uh, is a yeah. snitch hey, nigga you a Yo you, you a you're a snitch You're a fan I saw Snapchat <laughs> yeah, nigga, you're a snitch nigga. I remember in 2016 when I saw the Snapchat you is what are, inspired me You are you're a snitch nigga why are you snitching bro why are you running off and telling telling these niggas what they said bro they trying to bury that shit, bro. Eminem's probably been ducking and dodging that shit for decades. Here come this random, dumbass, goofy-ass nigga talking about, hey, man, I remember that one time you dropped a massive in bomb <laughs> Oh, man. And then, you know what? As soon as I heard you say it, I felt liberated. <laughs> bro, why do people feel like you can live your life, but this is not, this has nothing to do with you. I also, promise you can go your life without saying it, and it's not going to be a big deal. Not only that, the, the fact that, like, out of everything that happens in rap culture, the one thing that you're just gravitating is to is the <laughs> N-word is crazy. Like, bro, everybody says nigga, everybody, though. Everybody, everybody, everybody says, says it. Everybody says it, so why? Everybody says it. Why, why don't they just say it? It's just so hard for me to dodge bro, the word. Bro, is he going to give us an actual answer why don't they say it? I, I hope so. <laughs> nah, I hope so. I hope so. Uh, a show called Too Cute with his friend, and they're sitting there recording themselves. Oh, I think it was a Vine video, actually. That's how old it was. And he goes, yeah, we watched Too Cute, nigga. <laughs> and, like, the media made such a big deal out of it. You can't just time. get away with that. 15. And I'm like, who gives a shit? It's a word. The, the more you um, put this gate around the word, and, and that's like only certain people can get inside this gate to say it, the more power you give to that word. And I don't know Yeet. I've never met Yeet. Um, maybe some guy, somebody watching this video has met him. Does he say it in his personal life? Because I'm, I'm gonna give you guys the honest, raw truth here. When I was growing up in my neighborhood where I'm from, in Jacksonville, Florida, I don't live there anymore, but I, I'm from Jacksonville, Florida. And when I was growing up, all my white friends said nigga. Every freaking one of them. What's up nigga? How you doing today bro? You know what I'm saying? Like that, That's just how you talk. That's how you talk. And it is what it is. So, and I know a lot of these white rappers, like I said, Eminem has said it, Post Malone has said it, Stitches. I don't know if any of you guys know who Stitches is, but he had that Brick in Your Face song back in 2014, fire song. He says nigga all the time. Bro, stop and saying it. What? But he, but he's comfortable with saying it, but he just says it. He just said it and told you. He, he says sounds it uncomfortable person. though. He does sound uncomfortable. Bro, just avoid saying it, but you be all right. Just use the word bro, use the word homie, use the word. It's, it's crazy because for someone who claimed that he grew up saying it, even he saying it, weird it sounds it. weird yeah. when you say it. Shut the fuck up, bro. Even when I was growing up, even when, when me and my me and my people around my neighborhood, I grew up in Jacksonville, Florida. When we said it, like, 
Even I say, yo, what's up, nigga? That's it. <laughs> we used like, to say that to each other all the time all when we the met time, each other. All the time, man. What's up? What's a big deal about it? Okay, let me let me stop for a second. I'm serious. All serious. This, again, bro, you have to stop acting like this is like a new thing. Like, this is not like a thing for the internet, bro. It's been this concept that white people are don't say, it's not socially acceptable for white people to say the N-word. It's been going on for years now. This is not like, all oh, the media is getting out of hand. Like, it's been that way for years. So that's A. B, just, well, just quickly. Bro, y'all have to stop acting as if like, A, words are meaningless. Because apparently it means so much to you, you're fucking fighting for this shit. So that's that's that. And also, B, bro, you, you have to stop acting like your dialogue around certain people isn't... It's not the same, bro. You don't go around your mom saying the same shit that you say to your friends. The same thing shit you say to your friends is not the same shit you say to your significant other. And the way that you talk to your fuck to an adult is not the same when you talk to a, a child, bro. We have to stop acting as if like that's the case. We have to we have to stop doing that, bro. Stop acting as if like words don't hold any form of meaning. And hearing a white person trying to tell black people what the word nigga means to them, nigga, you can suck my cock, nigga. How about that? Cause you don't give a fuck. Cock. Suck my cock. That's a white word, ain't it? It is a white word. So I stole one of words. People <laughs> got mad about it, but he just kept doing it. He didn't give a. He didn't give a fuck. You know what I mean? Uh, six nine. He's not black. He says it all the time. Um, Fat Joe. He says it, and people get mad at him for saying it, but he still says it. So here's my question. Yeah, he's it's like, and I'm not saying hate specifically, but are are most white rappers scared to say it because they don't want to face backlash if they do? Mm -hmm. Um. Cause look, Nav, Nav, the Indian rapper, he used to say it too, and then he stopped saying it because people, a few people, made an article, a media article about it, got mad at him. Nah, he got pressed. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I had to go back and retroactively take out the N word out his album before. <laughs> Oh and that got God. pressed, but I remember when that happened. Why are you fighting for this? Yeah, I don't know why you. What's that, wrong with this it's guy? It's such an odd thing to fight for, and to act like you are at like, a gas station. You need to be fighting for better gas prices, bitch. I say, if you want to say it, say it. Mm. It's nigga. It's nothing. It means nothing. It's nigga. It's just a word. Who gives a shit? I mean, if if you say it. Um, and you have a black friend and he gets upset about it, then you guys can have a discussion and you can just tell him, look, I just say it. It doesn't mean anything racist to me personally. So I'm just you know saying I, it. I, 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 <laughs> to me personally. To me, me personally, the word nigga don't really. Yeah. It's like me telling a woman, to me, a bitch don't mean nothing to me. To me personally, <laughs> bitch don't mean nothing to me. Like, of course it doesn't mean nothing to you, nigga. That's why you're saying it. The Obviously, you, I don't think you're going to black people and saying, like, yeah, I love them slavery days, so that's why I'm going to call yeah, you this word. what the fuck? Obviously, but the reason why people will feel some type of way is because there's a historical background to that word, and it's ugly. And so when, when you use it amongst your own people, it's fine. It's the same way if you make fun of your little brother, it's cool. But if a random person make fun of your little brother, now you got to fight him, right? It's because amongst your own, it's ugly. Okay. Okay, but amongst other people, you're not one of them. That's not it. But I, I understand what he's saying to a certain extent, but he's also, like, I think he's being dumb just for the sake of. Yes. Because he wants to be able yes, to say the word. Exactly. You get why it has meaning. You just would prefer it didn't have meaning because you want to be able to rap to your songs without censoring yourself. Who cares? It's just a word to me. And if he doesn't want you to still say it, then you got to decide. Do I still want to be friends with this guy? Or do I want to just not say it around him? Nah. And then you make cutting off your black friend because you want to say the N word. <laughs> <laughs> That, that is man, crazy, man, bro. That is crazy. Bro, Todd, that is bro. hilarious. What's up, my nigga Todd? What's up, Todd? Look, Yo, don't bro. say that. Don't say that to me. No, 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 no. You be the white. You be the white. Okay, man. okay, okay. Yo, what's up, Todd? My nigga, what's going on with you? What's man? good, my nigga? Not much, nigga. Man, look, I had to, I had to cut out Jerome, man. <laughs> Jerome was tripping, man. What did that nigga do? Bro, that nigga was tripping, bro. That, I, I, was, I was sitting there chopping up with a nigga, and this nigga out of nowhere got offended because I said, nigga, like, bro, what the fuck? Then we had a back and forth. I had to tell him, bro. Yeah. Personally, I don't give a fuck, nigga. Like, I don't give a fuck. So you're done. Yeah. You're and done. I was like, yeah, he tried to he tried to give his grievances about slavery and shit and racism. He even showed me a photo, Grandma Mama. Yeah, right here. He did all that shit and then like bro at that point, like he wasn't trying to hear my side of it. So I <laughs> make that choice. But um I remember Stitches had a song called uh the, the name of the song was called Fuck Nigga. And uh, I've seen you way too many fuck niggas. It was such a fire song. Look it up. There's a video for it. He probably. And there's a line in there where he goes, uh, 
they told me stop saying nigga you is a dumb nigga like basically saying like how the media is like why is this white guy saying nigga bro like, this, this is the, you know the, that was fact the, line. That, the fact that these lines yeah. are so relatable to him <laughs> he's like bro that really fucking gripped my soul bro that's that gripped it bro that really got me in my fucking soul bro when he said that shit i was like bro that's what i was trying to tell tyrone last week <laughs> Before I stop talking about that. That's why to cut that nigga off, bro. How you gonna <laughs> tell me what to say, what not to say? You uh, a dumb nigga. <laughs> and so, um, like I said, if Yeet doesn't wanna say it, then I totally respect that. Uh, I got no issue with that. But if he does say it around his boys, and then he avoids purposely using using the word in his music, because I, I, I said in my Yeet video, I said that, um, Black people don't listen to you. And a lot, what I meant was hood street guys. And a lot of people see, got upset oh about that. And so, no, so, no, okay, no, so, so, no, this is, no, so, FYI, F -Y -I, you dumbass, you fuck, you, know, you want to be called a nigga, you dumb nigga. The reason why we don't allow white people to say it because we don't under, we personally, as a black person, from the surface level, we don't understand how ignorant some of you all are, especially on the way that you all communicate and speak about black people. The fact that you just said black people and the fucking a term, the term black people, that fell under the umbrella of just fucking hood people. That's the reason why, you dumb fuck. That's why. So for you to say black people and then just to associate black people with hood people is the reason why we don't allow white people like you dumb idiots to say shit like that, bro. Cause you're fucking dumb. That's a crazy thing to say. Um, but here's my question. If he did say nigga, do you think the hood would fuck with him more? Because they're like, oh, he relates to us. He talks like us. Because I, I feel like when <laughs> white rappers avoid saying it, that's why a lot of black people can't re like relate to the music. Like if bro, they heard like nigga, nigga and you were just talking more. Bro, turn this shit off. Nigga, turn this. This is this. getting good. <laughs> this this guy, no, the only way I black can't, people can relate bro, to the music. I can't. I can't, nigga. <laughs> You're so fucking dumb. You think that black people relate to rap music because they say nigga? Are you dumb? Or around certain people. A lot of white people, the only say it around people that are comfortable standing around. Like, when I'm when you're drunk, like, what's up, my nigga, bro? I haven't seen you in a while. You know what I mean? Like, on, only certain people bro, every um, time. will El stand around. So, because uh, they're, they're, they're trying to gauge, is this person going to be cool with me saying it? Even though they say it. Why do you have to go through that effort? What do you guys think? Do you think Yeet says it in his personal life? Should he say it Wait, and he's drop something he does use the word in his personal life? This nigga has something crazy. God damn it, bro. You are too... In every video you're doing, you're in your car, parked outside of a gas station, a subway. I mean, you're just out parked outside, bro. Is it because you can't do it at your mom's house? You still let where you live, nigga? That's why? Bro, nigga, you are, bro, this is the biggest fucking loser I've ever seen in my life, bro. Now, you fighting, like, And what's crazy is he didn't say anything remarkable. He just sat there and said, like, uh, the reason why he didn't say it is because it's not socially acceptable. Like, no shit, bro. Like, what are you, what are you saying, bro? Look, bro, all, all, all insults and jokes aside, bro. What, the things that you said in the, in, in this video, fucking ironically is the reason why black people are not comfortable with just random white people saying the N-word. I do know some people, some black people who are comfortable with, with some white people saying the N-word, but it's just because that's who they know them. But the things that you said in this video further promotes the concept that black people should not be comfortable with white people saying the N-word because you just say ignorant shit about the fucking race of people. That's why. It's hard for anybody to gauge or, or grow any trust with someone who is who just walking around ignorantly, bro. And no, bro, black people do not, we don't fucking feel connected to rap music because they say nigga. <laughs> Jesus. At that, that yeah. point, you'll really break down the barriers. Yeah, bro, you live in a bubble, it's obvious. If you just headed outside your bubble, you realize how crazy what you're saying is, but you've been stuck there your whole life. Hey, y'all enjoyed this video? <laughs> Get a load of this bullshit right here. Here's another video with some crazy takes, man. Go ahead, click that. If not, there's a big alpha red pill subscribe button. Smash that for us one time, and we'll catch you guys in the next one.